This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm getting into some more Terminal 101. We have recently covered how to get around in the Linux terminal, changing directories, moving and rename files, just to name some of the tips. Today I wanted to get into some extra tips about the terminal that you may or may not be familiar with. Whenever you're working in the terminal, remember that there is a maximum file name length for any given file. You'll run into some problems if you, you are so descriptive that you need more than 255 characters, but let's just hope that isn't the case. Anything less than 80 should pretty much suffice, and keeping your file name lower will make it not file wrap or word wrap around the entire screen. File names are also case sensitive, so if I wanted to move pick1.jpg, I would have to make sure that the P in pick1 is correctly uppercase or lowercase to match the file in question. Now like all operating systems, there are certain characters that can totally confuse the heck out of shell, and you'll want to avoid those when renaming files. For example, using a forward slash, forward, or I guess it would be this way on the screen, in the middle of your file name will make it think that you're trying to save a file into a directory. For example, if I wanted to type in, I want to remove a file, a pineapple guide. .txt, it's automatically going to try to remove a file called guide.txt in the pineapple directory. As mentioned in a previous hack tip, spaces can confuse the shell as well. So instead, bunch words together in your file name, use quotation marks around the file name, or place a backslash after each word in the file name. So an example of this would be, again, this file called pineapple guide. Instead of writing out pineapple guide.txt, what I could also do is put quotes around it. So I have pineapple guide.txt. And you can also put a backslash pineapple backslash guide.txt in the right after the pineapple, uh, the first word in the actual file name. Now after the break, we will look at some history shortcuts, but first a word from our sponsor. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash hak5 and sign up now. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. We're back. Now one neat thing about the terminal is that you can view your history of commands up to 500 lines. So if you've been moving and renaming files for like the past hour and you want to run the same command again, you have a few different kinds of options. Now history is a command that will show you each line that has run up to 500 different lines back. If you want to look at them all on one screen though, you can type history slash less to use the less program, which will let you view each page of commands one at a time. Now let's, let's check this out. So I can type history and that will show me an entire list of all of the commands that I've been putting in over the past like two hours or whatever. I can also type history less and this will show me by page. I can page down and see everything all the way. So yeah, works very nice. Want to just run the last command that you did? That's super simple too. You can just type in two exclamation marks, press enter. Actually, let me put in a command so it knows what I'm doing. So it shows something. Two exclamation marks, press enter. And there you go. You can see that I recently used the print working directory one. You can also type in an exclamation mark and whatever the last number was for that line. So when you looked at the history, if you want to memorize a certain line number that you wanted to use for a command that you're going to use in the future, you could type in exclamation mark 499 for the very last command or what have you, whatever number that might be. 
You can also press the up button on your keyboard a few times to find a recently used command. So up, up, up. See, I'm using the history less one a whole lot. And you can also press down a bunch of times to go back to clearing it out and getting back to where you started. You can always go back to a command and retype it as well if there was some kind of mistake, or you can press tab to have it autocomplete for you. I want to run ff record so I can type dot slash ff and then tab and it'll fill in the rest of the line for me. Some super simple tips, some things you may have already known and if you didn't, there you go. Now you know some shortcuts. Now how did you guys learn the terminal? There's a lot of handy websites out there that go really into detail and tons of books as well. Tell me about your favorites in the comments or email me tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust.